All right, welcome to Amigos Code. My name is Nelson and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly the best way for you to install Java on your Mac. So the first thing that I want you to do is to make sure that you have Ombru install. Basically, Ombru is a package manager for Mac OS or Linux. And also, I'm going to be using iTerm if you want to follow along with the exact same settings. But most important, I want you to install OhMySZSH. So this is an awesome framework for managing your ZSH configurations. It includes plugins and a bunch of other cool stuff. So make sure you install this and the process is very simple. All you have to do really is just grab this piece of a command right here, put it in your terminal and there we go. So once you have all of this out of the way, let's go ahead and install Java on your machine. So the best way for you to do it is by using brew. So what I want you to do first is to pretty much say brew and then tap on and then brew and right here, simply say cask and then versions. And basically cask versions allows you to pretty much just tap into all the versions of Java and pretty much other software that you want to install. So let me go ahead and press enter. Now it's updating on brew. Just give it a second and there we go. So that's finished. So now what you can do is simply say brew and then search and then go ahead and simply say Java. And there you go. So now you can see the versions of Java and you can see the casks right here. So basically a cask allows you to install a software by accepting all the terms and conditions. Uh, I.e. if you were to install Java, you you'd need to use the graphical user interface. And basically you can install software with brew by simply saying cask. So right here you can see the versions of Java. So Java 11, Java 6 and Java beta. NetBeans, so on and so forth. But this only includes the Java uh, official versions, right? So nowadays, a lot of people are switching to OpenJDK. And basically, this is the open source version of Java. So go ahead and simply type the same command. And then instead of saying Java, simply type JDK. And there we go. So now you can see the list is much bigger. So you can see that you have adopt open JDK 11. So I, I already have 11 installed, but you can see that you have 12. You also have the runtime environment right here and you have Java eight right here and you have Oracle JDK. So go ahead and pick the version that you want, but I highly, I highly suggest you to install the latest version of Java, which currently is 12. So I already have open JDK 11 installed. So to install the 12, so this one right here is very simple. Simply go ahead and say brew and then cask install. So cask is, is the most important bit here. So this will allow you to accept all the agreements and then simply grab open JDK 12. So you can install as many versions you want. And I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to be able to switch between versions so that you can test certain features of Java. So go ahead and simply press enter. And this now is installing open JDK 12. So there we go. And there we go. So that's finished. Now let me go ahead and clear the screen and simply type Java and then dash dash and then version enter. And you can see that now I do have Java 12 installed. So right here, remember I said, actually it was way above, but I said that I do have Java 11 also installed. So if you want to view the locations for all the Java versions that you have, simply go ahead and type forward slash and then USR forward slash and then lib exec and then Java underscore and then home. Now, if I press enter, you can see that I do have a Java 12 right here. And this is the actual 
a location. So I can also go ahead and simply type dash, oh, actually uh, dash capital V for verbose. And right here, this is giving me both 11 and 12. So right here, so you can see that this is the um, information about the JDK 11. And this is the information about JDK 12. And you can see the corresponding paths. So if I now open IntelliJ for a second, so I want you to see this. So right here, I'm inside of IntelliJ and let me simply open up the project structure. And right here, you can see that I do have Java 11. So I've just installed 12. So if I want to switch between uh, versions, I simply click on new and then JDK. And then if I go back, you can see that I do have JDK 12 right here. So I'm going to select that and then home. And there we go. Now I'm going to click open. And there we go. So now I do have Java 11 and 12 right here. So this is through IntelliJ. So now I can switch between versions right here. So also the way that you can switch versions is sometimes you might want to experiment on your terminal. So let me actually go ahead and simply apply and then OK. And then if I close out of this, so what you can do is set aliases. Go ahead and simply, so let me first clear the screen and then run the exact same command right here. So user lib exec Java home. And right here, instead of capital V, simply type lowercase v and then 11. So this will give you the location for Java 11. And we can do the same for 12. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is simply grab this line right here and go ahead and simply type Vim and then tilde and then forward slash dot Z S H R C. And right here, this is where you can configure your Z S H. So basically you can add functions, you can export variables and do all the cool stuff. And also you can change themes as well. So right here, so you can see in this line right here. So let me go ahead and find a room where I can simply type some commands. So right here, I'm going to press I and then I'm oh, actually right after. So here and what I'm going to do is simply say export or actually before let me add a comment and then simply say Java. So right here, I'm going to say export and then Java underscore eight underscore home equals to just like that. And then dollar sign parentheses and then inside of parentheses paste. Well, oh, actually, I didn't want to paste that. So I actually lost the context. So what I'm going to do is simply say forward slash and then user. So USR forward slash lib exec forward slash and then Java underscore home and then dash V. And then right here, simply say 11. And this should be Java 11. Sorry, not Java 8. So Java 11. And there we go. So now let me go ahead and simply uh, press escape and then Y two times and then P. And right here, let's go ahead and change this to 12. So I and then 12. And let me go to the end and let me change this to 12. So now what I'm going to do is press escape and then O and right here, let's go ahead and simply add an alias and let's call this as Java and then 11 equals. And what we're going to do is simply say export and then Java underscore home. So it's always a good practice to export your Java home. And right here, what we're going to do is simply say equals two and then dollar sign and then Java underscore 11 underscore home. And it's that simple. So now let me go ahead and press escape Y and then Y and then P and right here. So this will be now 12 and then go to the end and this will be 12. So basically I'm grabbing the contents of this variable right here and the same for that one. So now what we need to do is simply 
uh, set the default that we want. So let me go ahead and simply say Java and then 12. And obviously, let me add a space there and also a comment. So right here, default and then Java version. Now press escape, semicolon, WQ, and then there we go. So now if I source and then dot Z S H R C, there we go. Now if I clear the screen and if I do Java dash dash and then version, you can see that I'm using Java 12. So this is a default. Now if I want to switch to Java 11, simply type Java 11, right? So that's the alias that we've just created and then press enter. There we go. Now, if I press Java dash dash and then version, you should see that we've switched to Java 11. So there we go. So now you can see that if I want to go back, for example, simply type Java 12 and then Java dash dash version. And you can see that now I'm using Java 12. So this is the best way for you to install Java on your Mac. If you have any questions of what we've done here, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. And I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.